Am I being pranked or... Um... Okay... Fine, I'll get sucked into the dark web. I don't even think it can happen. Yeah, I dare you to suck me into the dark web. Truth or dare. Where the what the hell? I'm in my studio and I'm in the internet. Truth or dare. Who said that? Truth or dare. Truth or dare. Truth or dare. Truth, truth, truth. What are your honest opinions on the Whores of Blumhouse Chapter 2? My honest opinions about the Whores of Blumhouse Chapter 2? Show them or you die. Well, can we at least show the audience the clip first? Fair enough. Roll the clip. What is going on ladies and gentlemen, how you guys doing today? I thought I'd try something new with these announcements. Um, I've been seeing Zombie Chris doing it for a while and the league did it today with their Whores of Blumhouse uh, Chapter 2 announcement. Without further ado, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the little opening uh, cold open and the intro video that they gave us today for the Whores of Blumhouse Chapter 2. We have a lot to talk about. Uh, I'm going to give you my thoughts, but first we're going to read through some of these tweets that John Murdy put up today via social media on Twitter. And so, without further ado, let's get it started. By the prickering of my thumb, something wicked this way comes. Then he goes on, Your journey begins on a dark and stormy night as we approach a rundown old movie palace that is hosting a Whores of Blumhouse film festival. Stepping inside the theater, we enter a netherworld where horror movies have come to life. Uh, for our first presentation, we journey across the border to an abandoned old mission in Mexico, a place with a long history of blood and horror. A group of college kids on spring break violate the sanity of this once sacred place and unwittingly unleash an ancient curse, forcing them to play a never-ending game of truth or dare, where the stakes are life and death. Our second presentation, Unfriended, takes place in a new frontier of cyberspace where a noxious chat room session amongst a group of high school friends turns into an endless night of terror. A supernatural entity has assumed uh, control over the deceased fellow student's online account and hacked its way into the chat session. Now the malevolent uh, demon is taking its revenge online and no one is safe from its wrath. Our final feature starts a new chapter for the Whores of Blumhouse and Halloween Horror Nights by drawing its inspiration not from a film, but from Blumhouse's own infamous opening title sequence. Answering an innocent looking young girl's cries for help, we're lured into a creepy old house that soon becomes a house of horrors. Inside this paranormal palace, we learn the terrifying true identity of the girl in the white dress, though we may not survive to tell the tale. Okay, so that's the background of Blumhouse of Horrors Chapter 2. I'm sure you have questions, boys and ghouls. So I'll take a few and then maybe, if you're good, I'll share some treats with you. If you're good, alright, let's do this. Question box is open. And then I screenshotted the question I asked, which Murdy then replied. I asked, 
what gave you an idea to do an original ending? Sounds really cool. And then Murdy replied, wanted to do something different. Uh, and I thought that was really cool of him answering my questions. And then he goes on to say, all right, answered a bunch of your questions. So now here's a bit more info of today's announcement. Let's start off with Truth or Dare. In a lot of ways, you'll experience scenes you didn't see in the movie, a sequence that was cut from the film. That actually happens from time to time. I often start with the script before I can see the film. I did in this case and wanted to do a sequence that ended up not making the film, but had great maze potential, so I kept it in. Now to Unfriended. Obviously a movie that is a chat room session presents a unique uh, creative challenge to turn into a maze sequence, but that's what was intriguing about it, the challenge. You don't really see the demon in the film, but you will in the maze. Originally that was going to be the maze, but I really wanted to give you a third act, so we took inspiration from Blumhouse's opening title sequence with the creepy girl in the white dress in the haunted house, so we created an original twist on that to end the maze. We have one more maze announcement left for this season, which will be later this week. This maze I started working on back in November of 2017, right after HHN ended, and I am very excited to share it with you. Thanks for always supporting the event. One more to go. And then right after that, Murdy shared some awesome new sculpts for the new upcoming Scare Zone uh, Holidays from Hell. And he goes on and says, what the heck, want to see some new sculpts from one of the Scare Zones? I mean, you boys and ghouls are pretty good today. What do you say? He goes on to say, okay, here's some candy for you. This is a sculpt from the Scare Zone Holidays in Hell in the backlot set area of HHN. It's a trip through the holidays of the year with a horror twist, of course. Here's a leprechaun for St. Patty's Day with tempt eyes wrong color right now and then he shows of course the picture of the leprechaun how about another one makeup sculpt that is you have to be good boys and ghouls though some of you haven't been good boys and ghouls and we know what happens to naughty boys and ghouls at Christmas right Krampus takes the bad little boys and ghouls away we have we had Krampus before the film in a scare zone called Dark Christmas here's Krampus 2.0 for holidays in hell and he's got some crazy long horns too and then he shows us a picture of both uh, just the face and then face with some horns well at least one horn and he goes here's one of Krampus's long horns still sculpting the second one this guy is a stilt walker love our stilt walking scare actors they never cease to amaze me and how they can move while wearing stilts and then he goes on to say okay I'll give you one more makeup skull in process but it's really weird is that okay are you down with weird then he goes on to say okay here's weird for the thanksgiving section of holidays and how there is a character known as turkey lurkey a mashup between a pilgrim and an evil turkey one of the weirder characters we've ever developed here's his sculpt in progress and that was the end of his rant on uh, Twitter about of course the new horrors of Blumhouse maze and of course some new sculpts that we're gonna see in holidays from hell very much looking forward to holidays from hell it honestly looks cool after seeing those sculpts but let's give you some of my opinions on uh, horrors of Blumhouse chapter 2 so um, first off I want to start off uh, I asked a couple of you on Twitter uh, what do you guys think of the Horrors of Blumhouse 2? And I got a couple responses, and I'm really excited to see that you guys are actually responding and stuff like that. That was really cool of you guys to respond. And so, at Gears of Brett replied, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how they pull off uh, Unfriended and Truth or Dare. But I am mad they could have gone with any Blumhouse movie, but they go with the two worst movies. Um, I'm going to kind of agree with that, but at the same time, if Murdy says that he's putting time and effort and putting scenes that we haven't seen in the movie into this maze, I'm kind of excited for that. That should be pretty cool. On top of that, I'm, I'm curious to see how they're going to do the smiling demon face and how they're going to really transform Unfriended into a maze. That should be interesting. And then at Steven Menza 28 says, No matter what the mazes they put out, I will always enjoy the event. Yes, the, this duo of films isn't exactly the best, but I definitely look forward to it. Unfriended is... The only one I'm skeptical about since the film's format is different to what Horror Nights usually does. I do agree with that, and at the same time, I'm kind of curious to see how they're going to do this maze. Like I said, um, I really think that this is going to be an awesome maze, and I hope that it does really good. I love the first Horrors of Blumhouse, and that was really cool, so we'll see how this Chapter 2 transforms into a maze. Um, Again, they could have chose two other Blumhouse movies, but I'm hoping John Murdy picked the right, um, the right two for this, and I really am very excited for this. Thanks, guys, for watching. Thanks for putting up with my awful but 
somewhat worthy of a Academy Award uh, uh, intro to the video. Make sure to join the Madhouse and the Knights. So subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification. Hit that like button. Um, follow me on social media at, at Twitter at Knights of Horror and Instagram at the Knights of Horror. And like I say always, welcome to the Madhouse. I'm Anthony from the Knights of Horror, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. A dimension of sound, a dimension of sight, a dimension of mind.